today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts of my recent team chasing round from the Essex and Suffolk Hunt team chase. So uh, a few weeks ago I took Lara, my Irish sports horse mare, um, back to SEMA. I say back to SEMA because that's the only team chase that I've ever done. Um, and she's, that's her, to be fair, that's only her second time doing it, but no, it's not, it's her third time doing it. Third time doing it. We had a great time, and the lovely team at Equiril have been massive legends and have um, given me the round from the round, given me the video from the round. And uh, so I'm going to give you my thoughts, and you can get a little bit of insight what was going through my little brain when we were hurtling over those fences. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I don't even have a cup of tea. I might go make a cup of tea, hold that thought. Okay, we're back in the room, don't worry, and I've got my tea. I just also want to show you my mug. Look, oh, oh, focus, focus, look. It says Laura Lee. Big, and oh. that was my old thing. So if you, uh, if you guys want any mugs painted, hit me up, because this is a photo loose exclusive. Anyway, oh, that's hot. Okay, I think we should get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Nar Valley Bloodhounds team. So this is myself taking the lead, followed by, it was actually Tilly, and then Justine, and then Charlie taking up the road. I think Charlie had a bit of a problem getting Elliot to go out the start, so hence why he's a little bit farther behind, but... You come out the start box and it's a really nice, easy run to the first fence where, whoa, look at that lovely chip in there. Oh, that was bad. So not the best jump from Lara. And then with this, you have to make sure you go through the flags. I would say Lara jumped that first one by far the worst out of my team. So my team are looking much more stylish than me at this point. Now you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, it's absolutely peeing it down with rain. Um, which at this stage we were quite early on in the class and um, the ground was still holding up relatively well but I think it got a little bit slipperier, slipperier throughout the day. So this was the third fence which was the first hedge and they're, as you can see, look, they're very lovely, kind hedges and really easily jumped but Charlie's just picking up the rear there, just taking up the rear, and uh, he's a, kind of a good distance behind me. At this point I'm thinking, I am very happy with my pace. I'm going around B100 pace, maybe a little bit slower, um, just because I was quite conscious on keeping an eye on my team and not going too far ahead. However, I did think that I wanted to give Tilly, who's on the grey cloud behind me, enough space um, so that cloud doesn't do, because cloud has a tendency to nip left really quickly at the speed of light. Um, so I wanted to do nice big wide turns for Tilly so that she didn't do that. And oh, Tilly's just making this look very easy. So is Mazette and woo, it's a bit of fly there, Charlie. So this course is really notoriously twisty and turny. However, I do know it like the back of my hand now, she says. Um, <laughs> good shot to that one, Lucy. Good shot from Tilly. And Justine, Charlie, can you make it four or four? Can you? Oh yeah, nice. So turning to fence eight, this was on a little bit of a downhill, a bit of a bigger hedge. Good girl, that was good, well done. You good? Well done but still jumped really nicely. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I think our team's got some style. Style. Ping. Maybe not that one, Charlie. <laughs> but we got to the other side. Anyway, I think this is where I went a bit wrong. Yeah, I did. And um, I was heading in a different direction, but I soon remembered where I was supposed to be heading. And um, we got there. You can't hear, well, I don't think you can hear, there's a lot of shouting from my end, and I'm just shouting, but apparently Tilly or anyone couldn't hear a word that I was saying. Whoa. Bloody hell, no. 
And you can see I took that one on an angle there. Um, and that was because you can with these hedges. They're so easily jumped. And that is actually the trick of how you cut off the time. It's not necessarily in this novice bogey time about going completely flat out, although that does help um, if you're trying to, maybe more so in the fastest time. But you can always save time by doing some cheeky turns. However, I didn't want to do too many turns because as I said, the ground was a little bit slippery. Here we go. Turn, steady, steady, steady. Steady. Kick out. And then again, I was thinking at this point, I just need to keep this rhythm. And that is really important with Lara, who does have a tendency to kind of chip in or go off her own little random stride, is just to keep the forward rhythm. Kick out. However, she's very happy out front. And I will say she's blimmin' difficult. If I were to put her behind someone, she would just want to be in front and pull my arms out. We wouldn't make very good shots of, out of any of the fences and it would just be a bit of a car crash. Kind of like it was in my first year, actually. I started off behind, but at this stage, I'm just, I'm just having a blooming great time, guys. And this is probably, where are we? I think we're coming up to fence 16 here. So we're about halfway around the course. And this is where I chase her a little bit coming into this one and she pops in a small one. And that's totally my fault because, well, I got it a bit wrong. Oh my God. <sighs> but as I said, these fences are very forgiving and they do allow for little mistakes at this height because these, well, it's advertised as 90 centimetres, but I would say this is quite a large 90 centimetres, so I'd say it's probably 90 to a metre. Now, here we go. This is a straight line um, from 16, 17 and 18, so you can really kind of get a march on here. Oh, much better. Here you go. Well done, oh, I just love how well she's jumping. It's so good. And I think Mazet, I think this was Mazette's first team chase as well. That's the bay. And because normally, well, he was a show jumper and now he's living his new life as um, the field master's horse with the Nar Valley Bloodhounds. Uh, hence, this is the Nar Valley Bloodhounds team. I'm very much an adopted child <laughs> of this team because uh, Tilly is Justine's daughter and Charlie is Justine's husband and Tilly's dad. <laughs> so here you can go from fence 19 and turn to 20, which is what I did because I kind of trusted my, trusted my gut. She was really listening to me. Good girl. Um, but Tilly popped a little circle in, which you can do team chasing. It really doesn't matter. Um, it just means that you obviously lose a little bit of extra time because Charlie made me woe up here. He said, Lucy, wait, because Tilly's coming. So I just took a little pull and I waited until everyone was through and then just popped over this little rails, um, which I made sure Lara was really balanced. I think this is where actually I start checking because Charlie is now coming in behind me just waiting for our team and that was our kind of team motto we will not leave a man behind yep. And then this bit, you can kind of open the mouth a little bit more. Um, oh, they missed the jump going into the water, but there's a rail before the water. And then we walked through because you never quite know how deep it's going to be. One year, it was very deep up to about their knees. And ho, ho, good girl. And well, 
Well done. Well done. We good? Yeah? And then we just, I waited until everyone was through the other side. You can see, look, I'm walking. Hilly was like, yep, they're all through, let's go. So, a little, not too much encouragement because Laura doesn't need it. And then off we go. This was the final stretch. And um, you can, if your horse has got enough steam, just open them up a bit here. This was the last fence. This has moved from last year. So completely new fence. Right, I'm steady. steady. kind of trappy thing tiny tiger trap whoa big jump there from Elliot and you kick on through the finish which is what I do here and a big whoop whoop yay <laughs> oh it was such good fun big pats from everyone as well Um, and it's just another chance to give you a little bit of an insight and a bit of a different angle because obviously I have posted my team chasing vlog if you're interested in watching that. I've got a whole team chasing playlist on my YouTube channel so um, I will pop the playlist at the end of the vlog so you can go and have a look. I highly recommend giving team chasing a go. There will be a chance, hopefully, next season um, that I will try some other ones, branch out from just the Essex and Suffolk and go further afield because team chasing is really what Lara really loves, as you just saw. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do guys. Give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment if you particularly enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. See you very soon.